Did you ever think who is the hero behind the IoT based project? Who is making IoT so popular and easy? Yeah, you are right. It's Arduino. Arduino is an open source electronic platform based on microcontroller used for electronic projects by millions all over the world without much knowledge of electronics. Anyone can write a code and use Arduino in their projects. Here, platform means a combination of hardware and software. Arduino consists of programmable electronic board connected to a software or user interface. This user interface is called the Integrated Development Environment IDE. Arduino is designed for quick and easy use of microcontroller. You will surprise that we have different type of Arduino boards. For instance, Arduino Uno R3, Arduino Mega R3, Arduino Nano, Arduino Leonardo, Arduino Duo, Lilypad Arduino, Arduino Micro, Arduino Pro Mini. Well, if you are entering in the world of Arduino for the first time, it is suggested to use Arduino Uno and Nano. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, here we will discuss about Arduino Uno, that is R3. Arduino Uno is the most popular and best selling Arduino board. This board is equipped with an Atmega 3 to 8 microcontroller. It has a standard female pin header with 2.54 mm spacing and is compatible with various shields, 14 inputs and output pin, 6 of which are capable of generating BWM signals along with 6 analog input pins. Make this the proper board for simple projects such as running LCD, motors, you can build home appliances and many more. This board has a useful feature to connect to sensor with some special communication protocol, for instance, SPI and I2C that we'll discuss in pin description. Let's have pin description of Arduino Uno board. First one is we in this is the input voltage pin of Arduino board used to provide input supply from an external power source. 5 volt pin. This pin of the Arduino board is used as a regulated power supply voltage and it is used to give in supply by the board as well as onboard components. The next pin is 3.3 volt. This pin of the board is used to provide a supply of 3.3 which is generated from a voltage regulated on the board. These pins are required as per our convenience. Where voltage are Mention particularly in a range then we need to use this pin. Next one is ground. This pin of the board is used to ground the Arduino board. There are more than one ground pin on Arduino. Reset. This pin of the board is used to reset the microcontroller. This pin is called analog pins. As the name indicates, the pins A0 to A5 are used as analog input and it is in the range of 0 to 5 volt. Next pin is digital pin. The pin 0 to 13 are used as a digital pin. Input or output for the Arduino board. Serial pins. These pins also known as UR pin stand for Universal Asynchronous Receiver Transmitter. The UR interface consists of two pins, the RX and TX pin. The RX pin is used to receive data. The TX pin is used to transmit data. When two devices connected using UR, the RX pin of one device is connected to the TX pin of the second device. In Arduino Uno, UR is used for communication between the Arduino board and computer or other device. The transmitter pin 1 and receiving pin 0 is used to transmit and receive the data respectively. The next pin is called external interrupt pin. This pin of the Arduino board is used to produce the external interrupt. What does it mean? Suppose if we want to give some instruction to the uniboard, then we use these interrupts. Interrupt is a process by which Arduino stops its regular task or stops its looping and go to interrupt function to complete its given interrupt function task created externally. 
there are no only two external intra pin in rd row oh no pin 2 and 3 the next pin is called pwm pins if we want to increase or decrease the speed of motor or we want to slow down or increase the intensity of a cfl then we use pwm pin this pin of the board is used to convert the digital signal into an analog by varying the width of the pulse the pin number 3 5 6 9 10 and 11 are used as pwm pin we come across next pin which is called SPI serial peripheral interface it is used to maintain SPI communication ASPI bus is a system for serial communication which uses up to four conductors or wire one conductor is used for data sending one is used for data receiving one for synchronization and one for selecting a device to communicate with it is full duplex connection which means that the data is sent and received simultaneously the board spi pins uses four wires sck this is the serial clock driven by the master mosi this is the master output slave input driven by the master MISO this is the master input slave output driven by the master and double S this is the slave selection wire and the next pin are called I2C stand for inter integrated circuit it is a popular communication protocol used by several peripherals like accelerometer gyroscope OLD displays etc Arido refers to i2c as a serial communication protocol so data is transferred bit by bit along a single wire like spi i2c is synchronous so the output of bits is synchronized to the sampling of bits by clock signal between the master and slave the clock signal is always controlled by the master so both the pins have the clock the next pin is called LED pin. The board has an inbuilt LED using digital pin 13. The LED glows only when the digital pin becomes high. And in the end, we have AREF pin. AREF stands for analog reference. What it does, it allows us to feed the Arduino a reference voltage from an external power source in order to configure the reference voltage used for the analog input. So it was all about the pinout description of Arduino Uno. It might seem confusing to you, but when you use it, then it will become familiar to you. And just will be like a cake 